Hey what's up guys it's Bjorn from Jurassic Park Drops again and I got a little update video for you guys about the Cancroformis albino that I have hatched uh, last week and um, they are doing pretty fine actually um, I was a little bit too early with transferring them today uh, I transferred them to the hatching cube today there is one inside still um, he was actually looking fine he was doing fine but the others were laying on their backs so I was not completely sure if they were um, ready for the transfer yet so I actually catch them again and place them back into the hatchery but for some reason this one doesn't seem to be affected by the uh, transfer so I just let him B and see if he will actually survive yes or no but till now he actually looks pretty fine he's just exploring the tank looking around for some food of course um, well so far so good I would say um, let's have a look at the other ones um, there are six other ones inside this little hatching cup little bigger ones and there should be several very small ones as well I'm not completely sure if we can find one. Oh, there is one there he is so we got a quite a size difference going on here as you can see this one is really tiny and the other ones are actually quite big so there is quite a size difference going on I'm not completely sure what caused this but I think that this one is a late hatcher and this is a early hatcher and the difference between them is around four days I think I'm not completely sure but I think it's around four days but it's quite weird to see that we actually have some small ones and some bigger ones right now but they're doing fine together um, the big ones aren't eating the smaller ones actually they are peacefully uh, living together so it's fine I actually didn't have to separate them so that's good it's very good actually and next to this hatching cup we can see another hatching cup well I actually wanted another little group of cancroformis albino so I hatched another group um, I'm not completely sure if we can see some hatchlings oh there is one here you can see one of the new hatchlings bleeping around so that's the new hatchling and up there there is another one I think yeah there is another one there should be several inside this hatchery. I'm not completely sure how many eggs I used, but there should be at least 60, I think. There is another hatchling falling down right now. Perfectly. And um, basically they restart sometimes and he will probably shut down in several seconds again. Let's have a look, guys. And shut down. This is basically the behavior before they start to molt. Look at this. Just give it a second, he will drop back for sure. I'm not sure where we went. Ah, there he is again. There he is. There's another hatchling. So this hatchling is basically molting right now. It's just, These are his first hours inside the Thoracic Park nursery tank as you can see they are really small and um, well in the next two weeks they will grow up to a decent size like these guys and uh, I'm actually looking for a centimeter of one and a half to two maybe and then they should be big enough to uh, be transferred to the hatching nursery tank and um, the tank is actually pretty healthy but I think there are too many minerals because I did dose some fertilizers in this tank to start it up a little bit and give the plants a little bit of a boost because um, for some reason the java fern started to melt down a little bit when I changed up the tank unfortunately but it will grow back uh, very soon I think uh, I cut up the Vallisneria as well because um, some of the leaves were actually almost a meter long I was really stunned how fast this plant actually grows so um, I cut them off a little bit and um, I will do this probably another time when they start to grow like to a crazy length just like the Elodia 
they already had a boost from the fertilizers, but I think there is a little bit too much fertilizer still left. So I will do a big water change on this tank before I will transfer the trials back into this tank. But right now they are actually doing pretty fine. Uh, I added some uh, minerals to this little hatching cup as well. I added some uh, Denale Nano Crusta Minerals. It's a powder form mineral. Uh, powder and uh, I just added to my hatcheries to make sure they get enough minerals because this is uh, boiled hatch uh, boiled uh, rainwater so it actually doesn't contain too much minerals and um, that can might that might be a problem like later on if they need the minerals to develop their exoskeleton they definitely gonna need some minerals and that's why I actually add some uh, crusta minerals those are made for shrimp but they work on triops as well so that's a possibility. Uh, you can also use some limestone. Uh, I heard people using some limestone. Uh, I'm not completely sure if it works really well. Uh, I personally don't use it because I think a stone will not uh, provide enough or maybe too much in some cases. So I really like to dose it of uh, like a product. I really like it in a product in a powder form so I can dose it myself and then I actually know for sure that there is a certain amount of minerals inside my water instead of um, a stone that just uh, releases any amount of uh, calcium in it. So I think it's not too, um, how to say this, um, it's not too precise. So that's why I use the minerals in powder form. But it's optional, you can also use limestone or just some rocks that contain some calcium, it's fine as well. Let's see if, ah there is a small one again. <laughs> that's basically it what happens uh, if they get too close to the big ones they just get bumped into and uh, basically they just have to jump away a little bit and they do so it's fine I really haven't seen any loss on the little ones yet there should be six and there are still six um, but yeah sometimes this happens that the bigger ones actually want a piece of food first and uh, well they just scare off the little ones but mainly I always uh, add some wafers like on this side of the hatching cup and I also had, um, add some on the other side so that there are basically two feeding spots um, one for the smaller ones and one for the bigger ones um, unfortunately this doesn't work out very well always <laughs> sometimes it just split up we have three big ones on this side and we have four big ones on that side but it happens, um, but it's fine. Um, after a while they will be full and uh, they give the smaller ones a shot at some food as well. Really tiny little guys. Well, so that's it guys, that was a little update. I am waiting for quite a long time. Um, I actually failed two hatching attempts. Well, I didn't fail the hatching part, but I wasn't able to keep them alive long enough to transfer them to the main tank or to the nursery tank at all. Um, some mistakes occurred and I killed one batch probably by overfeeding it. I dropped, I accidentally dropped too much food inside the hatching cup and this probably gave a really large ammonia spike that killed most of them. So, um, that wasn't a, yeah, a good hatch. So unfortunately I had to wait again, uh, dry some eggs and um, well, here they are, finally. Uh, I saved them today. Um, and well, we just need to wait a little bit longer to make sure that they actually um, survive the transfer. Um, I hope the little one uh, down here is going to survive as well. If he keeps, if he, he stays alive for another three days, I think the tank is, safe enough to transfer these guys to the tank so we're gonna kind of use this little guy to check if the tank is safe or no um he's still doing fine i see there he is he's not laying on his back he is walking around he's swimming around um he's looking for food and um, he's actually pretty healthy so no complications here i think the tank is still safe um, but it was kind of a really like a red flag when I saw two of them actually laying on their back. It might be just uh, an occasional 
uh, mold that they usually just do after several hours. Um, it's also possible that I triggered the mold by transferring them and they just had some little complications with the after mold. And um, it's possible that, that that's what I witnessed. I'm not completely sure, but I needed to be sure that they would stay alive because I actually can't lose these guys again. So um, I catch them back into the... I catch them and put them back into this hatching cup again just to make sure that it was, would survive and they are actually doing great right now so I see no complications on these guys either I'm just gonna be a little bit more patient with transferring these little guys and um, well that's basically it guys I hope you guys enjoyed the little update video um, I hope to see these little triny triops into this tank in about three days and I expect them to be inside the main tank, which is dark, darked out right now. Uh, I expect them to reach the main tank in about two or three weeks. Maybe four. So that's what's coming up, guys. Um, next hatch will probably be another batch of uh, Cancriformis albino. Maybe Cancriformis europe or Cancriformis martanicus. I'm not completely sure. I want to breed a mix of three or four Cancriformis species that can be kept at a colder temperature. So that's up in, for in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope to see you guys next time. I, thank you for watching. Bye.